This video will cover the topic quotient rule with negative exponents, problem type 1. The quotient rule of exponents is the same whether we're working with positive or negative exponents. If we have a variable raised to an exponent divided by that same variable raised to an exponent, we can simplify that by writing it as that same variable raised to the power of the difference of the two exponents. Let's break that down with an example. Suppose we wanted to simplify the expression y to the negative fifth power over y to the negative third power. Here we have a variable raised to an exponent divided by that same variable y in this example raised to an exponent as well. We can simplify this using the quotient rule. Our final answer will have this same variable y as the base and the new exponent will be the difference of these two exponents. We can write that as y raised to the power of negative 5 minus negative 3 and since we're subtracting a negative number this is the same as negative 5 plus 3 which simplifies to y raised to the power of negative 2. This answer is technically correct but it's considered proper to always write our exponent as a positive number. So we should write our answer as y to the positive second power? Not quite. If we just change the exponent from a negative to a positive, we're really changing the meaning of the whole expression. However, we can make the exponent positive if we also move the whole term from the numerator of a fraction to the denominator or vice versa. But it's not in a fraction. How can we move it to the denominator? That's a great point. Think about this. Any number divided by 1 is that same number. It doesn't change its value. So we could rewrite y to the negative 2 as y to the negative 2 divided by 1. And we haven't changed its value, but now it's written as a fraction. So now that it's a fraction, can we move y to the negative second power to the denominator and make the exponent positive? Right. We can write this as 1 over y squared. Now our answer is simplified and is written in proper form with a positive exponent. So we're done. So let me make sure I understand. If we have a variable raised to an exponent divided by the same variable raised to an exponent, we can express that as the variable raised to the difference of the two exponents. You got it.